Today's story is called Duck and Hippo Give Thanks by Jonathan London, illustrated by Andrew Joyner. Thank you to Two Lions for permission to read today's story. It was almost Thanksgiving and the leaves were still tumbling. Hippo was raking the leaves into a huge pile and dreaming of a good old fashioned Thanksgiving. Scritch, scritch, scritch. A white blur flew through the air. Whee! Bloof! And plopped right into the middle of Hippo's pile. What was it? A head popped up. It was Duck. Duck! Duck! cried the Hippo. What are you doing? I'm jumping into the pile of leaves, said Duck. It's fun. Why don't you try it? I'm trying to make the pile all nice and tidy, Hippo said with a huff. Bunk! Just then, an apple fell on Hippo's head. Hippo rubbed his head, polished the apple, and handed it to Duck. For you, he said. Thanks, Hippo, Duck said. Speaking of giving thanks, said Hippo, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Let's celebrate together. Yes, said Duck. I'll help. Let's invite all our friends. To get ready for the feast, Duck and Hippo went shopping. Duck said, I want to ride in the basket. She grabbed food as they zoomed down the aisle. Whee! Faster, squealed Duck. Then Duck jumped out and Hippo squeezed in. But the shopping cart wouldn't budge. When Hippo tried to squeeze out, I'm stuck, cried Hippo. No problem, boomed Elephant. He lifted Hippo out. Thank you, Elephant, said Duck and Hippo. Duck invited him for Thanksgiving. Delighted, boomed Elephant. Hippo wanted some crusty bread for their good old-fashioned Thanksgiving. So Duck and Hippo got in line at the bakery. Turtle was ahead of them. You go first, said Turtle, and take your time. Take your time. Thank you, Turtle said Duck and Hippo, and Duck invited him for Thanksgiving. Terrific, said Turtle. By now, Duck and Hippo were so hungry. They went to Pig's Pizza, and they each ate a slice of Pig's special pizza of the day. Thank you, Pig, said Duck and Hippo, and Duck invited her for Thanksgiving. Yummy, cried Pig. I can't wait. Back at Hippo's house, Hippo said, there's so much to do for our good old fashioned Thanksgiving. So Duck went out and gathered leaves. She just couldn't help jumping in. Whee! Hippo went out and grabbed pumpkins. quack a doodle do cried Duck, sitting on a pumpkin. I laid an egg. Then Duck gathered acorn squashes. Let me help you, Duck, said Hippo. Lastly, Duck and Hippo gathered apples and headed back inside. But they bumped into each other at the door. Whoops! Hippo bowed and said, After you, dear Duck. Then, together, they decorated the table with leaves and squashes and perfect little pumpkins. When they were done, Duck did a dance on the tabletop and sang, Ta-da! See you tomorrow, she said, jumping off. That night, Hippo went to sleep and dreamed of a good old-fashioned Thanksgiving. Before Duck went to bed, she told her friends, let's make something special for Hippo. The next day, Hippo was busy. He baked a good old-fashioned apple pie and a good old-fashioned pumpkin pie and a good old-fashioned acorn squash in his house filled with a good old-fashioned smell. 
He couldn't wait for his good old-fashioned Thanksgiving to begin. But it was getting late. Hippo looked out the window. The full harvest moon was rising over the trees. Night had come. But where, oh, where were Hippo's friends? Here we are, cried Duck, and they all piled into Hippo's house. Sorry we're late, but we're all finishing up a special surprise for you. I wonder what it could be, thought Hippo. Hippo's friends each had something to offer. Turtle brought Chinese egg rolls. Elephant brought sea cucumber sushi. Pig brought pizza napolitana. And Duck brought peanut butter and jelly tacos. Surprise! This is not a good old-fashioned Thanksgiving feast, thought Hippo. But then he looked at the smiling faces of all of his dear friends. He spread his arms wide and said, Welcome, and thank you for being who you are. Hooray, everyone shouted. And then they all gathered around the table and held hands. Duck and Hippo gave thanks for their friends, for being together, and for sharing nature's bounty. Let's eat, cried Pig. And it was a big, happy Thanksgiving feast. The best Thanksgiving ever. And when they were done, Duck said, and now let's go outside and jump in the leaves. Whee! The 